Installing the first beta release of Avast 2016. I'll be doing a default install because I want to see all the features that come with the free version and anything new that's been added. The installation differs from its previous versions. You notice it's just a little box that tells you that Avast is being installed. Don't turn off your computer and you could actually hide that little notification box. Welcome to Avast. One thing I noticed, it says you are protected. Avast free antivirus was just installed on your PC. I don't quite understand why they're asking whether or not I've already bought the product. Since it's free, there isn't any purchase required. Agree to the user license agreement at this point. Run a smart scan, which will check basic things on your computer to make sure that you start things off safe and free of any infections. Although it didn't say it, my recommendation still is that before you actually depend on Avast, after the install, you do a system restart. Many, many changes occur when you install a program of this magnitude. And if you want to be 100% sure that everything is actually functioning as it should, a reboot is required. You'll see all the different scans that are available. Smart scan is what we just ran. Scan for viruses, scan for browser add-ons, outdated software, network threats, tools. Secure VPN designed for when you use open Wi-Fi. In my case, I do a lot of traveling and quite often depend on the Wi-Fi at a hotel. Secure VPN will encrypt all of my data before it's sent. So if it's intercepted, the person that does the interception will wind up with garbage and not anything they can use. Safe zone browser, do banking and shopping. Do it in here because it can't be intercepted. Remote assistance. You have a problem with your computer or something in the vast. You're not so sure how to fix it, but you have a friend who's a pretty good IT guy. This will allow you to either have him help you, or if you're the geek, you can help them, provided both of you use a vast. Rescue disk. This should be created before it's actually needed so that if your system can't boot, you can use the rescue disk. You can scan your system outside of Windows for infections. A sandbox. Anything in a sandbox means it doesn't happen within your system. So if there's a virus, it never made it to your system because once the sandbox is closed, so is anything within it. A firewall is not part of the free version. It's an added feature in the paid version, starting with internet security. Statistics is where you get to find out how many viruses were blocked, if any, how many streaming updates have occurred during the 24-hour period, and many, many other statistics pretty much sums up what's new. The one thing that I know hasn't changed, the VAST is still excellent at keeping your computer safe, whether it's on your computer, on the Internet. And for those of you that have an Android device, there is even a nice product to keep your Android device and your tablets nice and safe. Stay safe. Be free. I hope this helps.